the Savior will come Christmas a baby in a stable Lying in straw in a manger Jesus the Lord will be born High up in the skies above The voices of angels will sing Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth to all the destitute crying to him salvation to all the destitute hope he brings and resurrects christmas the savior will come christmas a baby in a stable Lying and strove in a manger, Jesus the Lord will be born. High up in the skies above, the voices of angels will sing. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to his people on earth. Good afternoon, my dear friends. I welcome you to this liturgy on the third Sunday of Advent, the Gaudeti Sunday. And this Mass is offered for the following intentions from the Diocese of Warangal, Manugunda Parish. Bandham Pali village. The mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donors, Vatti Ludhamaradi and Mariamma, on the occasion of the birthday of Vatti Antoni Shadwin Reddy for good health, good future, good health of all family members, and for the departed souls of the Vatti Thomas Reddy, Mariamma, Agatama by Father Vatti Simon Reddy. Satish Reddy, Soumya, Jyoti. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy, Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, this Sunday is called the Gaudeti Sunday, the Rejoicing Sunday. As we are close to the coming of Jesus, we are ought to rejoice. And in the first reading, we have John the Baptist talking about guilt. People are feeling guilty when he talked to them straight the truth. Perhaps today, why we are not able to be joyful is that because we have guilt because of the sin that we commit in our lives. And possibly there are three types of sin. And uh, St. John the Baptist talks about those kinds like that People are not, they are using their authority to suppress others. That's one kind of way of. Then there is also corrupt people unjustly trying to use their office to gain some benefit and profit. And there are also people who are not charitable for the less fortunate people, those who are in need. So let us feel sorry for those moments in any of these ways we have failed and feel guilty of sin so that we may remove that guilt from our lives and then we can really be joyful with the coming of Jesus. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my, my words, in what, in what I have done and, and what I have failed to do, 
to my fault, to my fault, to my, fault, to my, to my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us. We pray to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord will exalt over you with loud singing. First reading. A reading from the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. A reading from the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. Sing aloud, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has cleared away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall never again fear evil. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion. Let not your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. I will gather those of you who mourn for the festival. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, shout and sing for joy. Shout and, Shout and sing, sing for, joy. for joy. For great in your midst. For, for great in your midst. For great in your midst. Is the Holy One of Israel. Is the is Holy, the Holy One, of One of Israel. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Your response, shout and sing for joy. Shout and sing for joy. For great in the midst. For great. Is the Holy One of Israel. Is the Holy One of your Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the peoples. Proclaim that His name is exalted. Your response, Sing and shout for joy. Sing and, Sing and shout, shout for, for joy. joy. For great in your midst. For great in your midst. Is the Holy One of Israel. Is the Holy One of Israel. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. Brethren, rejoice in the Lord always, and I will say, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. At the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to, be God. to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise. 
praise the Lord, alleluia, praise the Lord, alleluia, praise the Lord, alleluia, praise the Lord, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, <coughs> O Lord. Luke chapter 3, verses 10 to 18. At that time, the crowds asked him, What then shall we do? And he answered them, Whoever has two tunics is to share with him who has none. And whoever has food is to do likewise. Tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than you are authorized to do. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what shall we do? And he said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or by false accusation, and be content with your wages. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Christ, John answered them all, saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming, the strap of those whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn unquenchable, with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations, he preached the good news to the people. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today it is called the Gaudete Sunday, meaning Sunday of Rejoice. Why? Because it is the third week in Advent and one more week to go and afterwards we celebrate Christmas. So the Advent of Christ, that is coming of Christ is closer so we are supposed to rejoice. But St. Paul talks about in Philippians 4, 4, 7, rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. How come? How can we rejoice? when we are in trouble. Always is it possible. When we are in good mood, okay. When we are in good spirit, okay. When we are in good health, it is okay. When we have a job, it is okay. And when we have peace around us, okay. But when we are troubled, when we have enemies, when we have uh, no job, when we have no money, when we have uh, disease all around, should we still rejoice? So my dear friends, so what it means to rejoice? Because joy and happiness are different. Happiness is in the event, what we are going through, like difficulties, like disease or illness. So we are not happy because we are not well, we are sad. But joy is the is a choice, is a choice. It's what comes after the event, the outcome after the event. So we go through suffering, but still what comes after it is victory. We go through defeat, but comes victory afterwards. And that's why we are called to be rejoicing. So, what is joy? What is joy? Because the joy, what is the cause of the joy? Is Jesus yesterday, today, and forever the same. And he is our savior. So that is why we rejoice. And we are supposed to shout for joy. That is the first reading Jephania talks about. And my dear friends, and we have 
um, this in Matthew, uh, Luke 130, when the angel tells Mary, do not fear. Where there is fear, there is no joy. And when the women who come to the tomb, they were also told, do not be afraid. Matthew 28, 10. So the same thing, fear not, announces the prophet to Zion, for the Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. Because he is in your midst, a mighty Savior. And disciples were also called for the same test. They were traveling in the boat and uh, waves came in and they were afraid. And Jesus said, Jesus was there, but they could not be joyful because they did not feel that presence that he is in their midst as a mighty savior. And as you know, Jesus rebukes them and then tells them, you have little faith. And my dear friends, same thing happened for Mary and for Joseph. Mary, a little a girl in the sense, just married and, and all these things happened. And you know what can happen to her. Very bad things can happen. And still, it was, it was the assurance that God is with her in this whole thing. That's what made her different. So she trusted in God instead of giving in to fear. And that's why she is happy and he, she is joyful. So fear and in the place of fear, the trust in God. So this is what we need to do. When there is fear around you, then can we trust God? Then you will have joy. And that joy will nobody take, nobody can take away. Same thing happened to Joseph. It could be anger, anger. But in the place of anger, he trusted and believed in God and in the power of God. And what happened? He was also blessed like Mary. So my dear friends, we are called, like St. Paul tells, be it death or be it life for me is joy and everything is Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and 4 Nothing can stop me from the love of Christ. Romans 12, 12 So Paul writes to us that he is certain that neither death nor life, neither the angels nor principalities, neither the present nor the future, nor powers, neither height nor depth, nor any of the other creatures will be able to separate us from the love of God that comes to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 to 39. So my dear friends, that peace and that joy is only possible with the presence of God. And my dear friends, today we should ask ourselves, as Pope Francis also speaks in his um, encyclical, the gospel, the joy, the gospel of joy. So, should we ask ourselves today, as Catholics, as Christians, are we people of joy or sadness? No matter what we are in, it is not about the event, it's not about what we're going through, but it is about our trust, our center. It's not about the wheel of fortune, it is about that Jesus is the center. When Jesus is the center, then we can be happy. And that's what the saints did. In spite of so many difficulties, so many struggles, saints were so happy. Why? They were joyful because of it. So let us feel sorry for those moments. We have failed to be people of joy. There is no reason why we should. Otherwise, why should Jesus die on the cross? And why should he rise on the third day? So let us be people of joy. Please stand and let us...
recite the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, God light, light from light, through God, God from through God, God, from through God, God begotten, not made, made consubstantial, consubstantial with, with the Father, through, through him all things were made, made. For, us for us men and for, and for our salvation. He came down, down from heaven, heaven and by the, by Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin, Virgin Mary and became and man. For our, for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated the right at the right hand of our Father. Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, Lord, the giver of life, life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored, adored and glorified, who has spoken, spoken to the, the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess, confess one, one baptism, baptism for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins. sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray for our needs. Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all the bishops who are present to us and make you to be present every day, particularly through the acts of priests teaching of the apostles Lord help us to be present and help us to be joyful for your word is with us and for your people who care for us are with us for this we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer Lord in a special way today we pray for all the people who are in sadness that there may be people who can bring the joy into their lives as you asked people through John the Baptist to share what they have by sharing that we may bring joy. Give us that gift of sharing and loving. That we be people of action. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we specially pray today for the so much of misery in the world that Lord take that away. That everybody may be generous with each other. And especially we pray for all the donors who are generous so that we can light up the world through the proclamation of the gospel and especially through Divyavani TV, proclamation of the gospel that is happening because of their generosity. Bless them, bless their needs, give them what they need. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in silence pray for your intentions. We all call these intentions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, accept this bread and wine. Take our hearts and make them thine take our words and our anxiety give us life and liberty change this bread into your body and this wine into your blood change our lives make us united lord to spread the love of christ the Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and our good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplished for us your saving word. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full. Your glory, sing O Sana, sing O Sana, O Sana to the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sing, O Santa. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and the blood of your son our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries from the night from on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an, ever, an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with your beloved, blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to conform in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, O Francis, and our Archbishop, Paul Antony, the order of the bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for you, your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather the, to yourself all your children, staff scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you holy. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Lord, our friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What peace we often fulfill Oh, what needless pain we bear Oh, all because we do not care Everything to God in prayer Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, so we are coming closer to the Feast of Christmas and in view of it, we have the Novena from 16th evening, 6 to 8 p.m. in Telugu. So 6 to 8 p.m. in Telugu everyday life from the Vyavani TV Center till 24th evening, 6 to 8. And then next program will be announced to you. So we have the carols and then we have the novena and then holy mass and preaching so all of you are invited to participate so that you can prepare for the great feast of christmas the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god Bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Wake up, oh people, the Lord is very near. Wake up and stand for the Lord. Wake up, oh people, the Lord is very near. Wake up and stand for the Lord. Your saving Lord is near. Wake up, His glory will appear. Wake up. The hour of grace is near, that is never was. Wake up, oh people, the Lord is very near. Wake up and stand for the Lord. Wake up, oh people, the Lord is very near. Wake up and stand for the Lord.